Hi, my name is Alejandro Mendoza, I'm president of Prodenza Consulting Services. Prodenza has been in business for the last 35 years, mainly helping manufacturing companies to create more value, to create more business and to grow globally. One of the main challenges that we have seen through all these years is business continuity. Business continuity today is the name of the game because mainly what companies have been working with is associated with the operation itself, with the risk associated with something that you control. But there are external factors that you don't not control that sometimes you don't even know and you are not aware of. So in Prodenza, we have been developing different solutions and mainly helping companies to develop internally a preventive action plan. You have to start by identifying where you are, who you are, and what is your role in this society. But also you have to understand that you are inside a political environment. Sometimes the political environment can have a significant challenge for your operation. Nowadays, understanding who are the stakeholders. Stakeholders are those individuals, government officials, even corporations that you need to be aware of their existence and how to be part of those. We, through all these years, have been successfully helping companies to develop preventing plans and to develop a follow-up closer to avoid having any type of interruption of their operations. When it comes into preventive actions, what we are mainly talking here is to be on a position where you can predict what is going to happen with your operation. You don't want to get loose when something comes out of control. You want to have the control and you want to be able to react fast. It's not just about suppliers. It is not just about finding the right talent. It's the combination of all those things associated with challenges that are outside of your control. It can be a free trade agreement modification. It can be something like a new political environment but also macroeconomics take a huge stake of your responsibility. So welcome to Prodenza. I'm pretty sure that we will find a way to help you and we will go deeper into the business continuity model. Companies have to be open to get to know their community, to interact with them and to understand what their community's pains are, what they need, but most important to understand why their project and their operation is good for them. Reputation matters now more than ever. What the community think of you, what the employees think of you, and what the key stakeholders in your community think of you is very relevant, very important, and will end up affecting or helping your operation in one way or the other. There's several tools and mechanisms in place that you can use to understand what people think of you, what the community's perception is to your project. This is very helpful as it will help you to guide and to get to know what the, most, the best action is moving forward, especially for business continuity. Your company has to be positioned as a very valuable asset for the community, as achieving so will help your company and the community to grow together the perception will change in a positive way and things will be better for you in the future, especially in business continuity matters. A company with a weak reputation would be an easy target for authorities that will have additional inspections and inquiries making your operation cumbersome. On the other side, a company with a good reputation will be a company where everybody wants to work and will be set as a good example from the authorities to other companies on how things should be done. Imagine a situation in which a detractor wants to attack you. In which situation do you think that your detractor will prevail? Scenario number one. You have no engagement with the community, they don't even know who you are, and your employees don't like you. And scenario number two. The community loves you. They, you have a high reputation with the authorities, and your employees are thrilled to work with you. In which situation do you think you'll be protected? For business continuity, what people think of you really matters. Entering the market and getting to know all the stakeholders is easier with a partner that is there locally and has a seat at the table and a voice at the conversation.
Needless to say that talent, it's in our opinion, probably the most relevant thing for the business continuity and success for your operation. And at Prodenza, we believe that there are three big factors on the current environment that you should always keep in mind. Number one is, what are you going to do to attract the best talent? I think we have an environment today where there is a lot of competition for the best talent. And not only that, the competition is not only local, but international. Uh, I think the, the new environment has proven that you can find people in different places. And I believe the youth uh, and the expertise of the Mexican workforce at all levels is one of our competitive advantages. So we are going to be competing for that. So it's extremely relevant that you have a specific strategy on how to attract the best talent, depending on what you need. For that, I think it's also important to define what are the, the success profiles of each position. I think uh, we are taking more time on not assuming that the profile we have for a position before is the best profile today. So rethink your profiles and based on that, have a specific strategy, uh, get local knowledge on how to get the best talent. That's number one. Number two is you have to become the best place to work. I think once you have made the effort of attracting the best talent, it's extremely important that you design your operation intentionally, the practice of your operation intentionally to become the best place to work. A few factors that are important to consider, of course, right now, safety. You have to make sure that people feel safe to go to work. So design your protocols, your environment, the relationship that you have with people accordingly. Number two, you have to treat people great. I think this is one a fortunate evolution of operations is we have spent more time designing practices that allow people to feel happy. We know that happy people uh, become productive employees. Uh, and number three, you have to make sure that you make your people successful. You have to design the processes, the procedures, and the practices so that people are successful. This is the number one motivator for people is if you're achieving your goals, if you are succeeding, if you are having the possibility to grow. And for that, I will go to the third point that I believe today is extremely relevant. You have uh, to design a strategy to reskill people. I think one of the social uh, and political and economic environment changes that we have seen is people that are left behind because they do not adapt to the new environment with the new skills required. So you have to make sure that you have a reskilling uh, program uh, that allows people to get the new skills, new capabilities, not only technical, but soft skills that allow them to be successful for your operation today and for your operation in the future.